I would like to think that as an architect, you can make a contribution. I never knew if I'd ever be able to make a living at it, but I just knew that's where I fit. I don't know whether the competition should be with men rather than with what it takes to be an architect. It's sort of like Chagall, if he'd only done one painting, only his mother would know how great he was. You have to be able to do a lot of buildings. Nothing is impossible. So we have to think like that to push further the, the lines and the horizon. If you look at the cities of the 19th century, the 18th century, the 17th century, the 16th century, and so on, these cities have been entirely built by men. Because the profession consisted mostly of men for a long time, almost all of the great buildings that we see, that people study in school, that architects learn about, were designed by men. Design and architecture have traditionally been very much a man's world, so women have tended to be invisible, um, if not present at all. Architecture's really only been open in a serious way to women for the last generation. For me individually and for other women in the field, we were keenly aware that there were very few women ahead of us, and those ahead of us had had a very hard time. If you're a bright, ambitious girl and you look at architecture at the moment and you see it's a boys' club, why on earth would you stake your ambition on it? In this profession, as many other professions, is still very male-dominated because it's not only about the architects or the office, it's also about the business around it. So the developer, the builders, being on a building site is very special because it is a very macho environment. <laughs> it's very difficult for a woman to deal with this kind of word, but when they succeed, the result uh, is incredible. I think one of the answers about why there are fewer women at the higher reaches of the profession may be that architecture is so demanding a field in terms of the sheer amount of time required that women often opt for more flexible roles in the profession. I am willing to accept that uh, perhaps given all the life choices that women have, not constraints, life choices, that perhaps is, it's not suited for all women. Uh, I think women have a lot of choices. I think it's a choice to have a child. It's a wonderful choice, but it brings a dilemma. And I wouldn't want the intensity uh, of architecture to, to be dragged down because we want more female. Uh, uh, because I, I think that it, it should also keep its in intensity and the creative uh, atmosphere that it needs. Plenty of my friends think um, that I work too much, but it's what I want to do. And so it doesn't feel like it's a sacrifice. There are choices that you make, um, and they preclude one thing from another. It takes a long time to build a career in architecture. I think that's the key point. Even men who are prominent and successful in architecture usually don't make it big until they're older than 50. And if we realize that the architecture schools were only having a substantial number of women students in the last generation. It's only now that we're going to begin looking forward, having the fruits of all that, and seeing many, many more women in prominent positions in the profession.